All right, see if we keep this under three minutes. Coding games, coding games one. Uh, coding games one. Let's maybe just start by bringing up the tutorial that we'll, we'll start with in Unity. This is Unity, which is the number one games development uh, company out there. Unity create with code. Right, this is a tutorial that they released this past year. It's wonderful. And uh, we will go through at least one to start off the course, maybe even two of the units. And I mean, there's unit five. I don't think we're going to get to that. But um, yeah, what is Unity? Well, Unity, I've got it in memory over here. I just said what it is. It's a 3D games development environment. And, and this is it. Uh, gets pretty involved when you start to, to look at the nitty gritty of how things in a 3D game are put together. But um, it's a great way to get into coding. It's a great way to appreciate the power of coding because driving this armored vehicle is not just a powertrain and an engine, but code. So after we finish that and you get the idea that code is powerful, then primarily we're going to, I suppose, go to Code High School. And this is where we would have been today. And there's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, introductory unit on programming with JavaScript called Programming with Corel. And just to show you where we were today, I guess we would have been looking at this while loop, one of the three most fundamental control structures, along with for loops and if slash if else statement. So if that comes up, we'll take a look at what we were talking about today. While we want to have this guy move to the side and he does whether it's a six by six world or a ten by ten world because what's going on here with the code this will give you a taste of what we do if i just step through it a little bit here it's step 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 right while the front is clear and it is and it is and it is and it is he keeps on and it is a he corral is a check name for a, a guy once he is no longer looking clearly once the front is no longer clear he's finished so yeah we learned a bit of JavaScript there, and then we move into Java. And this is what we would have been doing today in conjunction with that, looking at the while loop in Java. And beyond the middle of March, where we would end up going to would be this, uh, Instant Java Revolution, where one step at a time, and that's you know going way to the end of the course, looking at this stuff right here, but starting right at the beginning and working our way down. How are we doing for time? Two minutes and 41 seconds. Yeah, we learn all the way from you know, hello world. Let's just take a look at the very first thing you're going to look at. Row, row, row your boat. And, okay, you're not going to learn this in the first day, but you're going to learn how loops work. For example, here, all the way down to arrays. Array for arrays. So it's, if I just get into arrays and take a look, it's coding, right? So I guess that's basically 